What is up everybody? My name is Jay Legend. I am a manifestation, lifestyle, and mindset coach on this YouTube platform. I create videos within reprogramming my mindset to my desired lifestyle and my desired reality. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for videos every week on this channel talking about all things within spirituality, self-development, and self-concept. I am on every platform so please feel free to check out my link tree in the description. It's right down below in the description so go check that out. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube obviously. I post similar content and I post very frequently there so you guys can see me on your social media platforms feeding you this content to really help you understand that your reality could ultimately change within an instant. Today's video is going to be about something that a, a subscriber commented and the subscriber um commented Jay what's the right way to live in the end and I was like why not make a video on this I feel like this topic really needs to be addressed if you don't know living in the end basically means that okay you're trying to manifest something and you basically embody the full state of it in the end feeling meaning however you would feel having your manifestation or desire you just embody that throughout the whole process there is multiple ways you can do this there's not only one specific way you can do this when it comes to manifestation and the techniques overall manifestation comes in so many forms fashion styles and ways it's like who's to say that you can limit that you have to understand that ultimately it is up to one's individual's choice and in what they choose to use as their technique there's many ways and i did list a huge amount of ways but one thing i did want to say was we are all unique and different beings we all have certain ways that help us reprogram ourselves the best way that fits you can be any of the following and even more visualization affirmation speaking it verbally into existence this is kind of similar to when people say i'm going to speak something into existence ignoring it because i know a lot of people even within the law of attraction community because i believe it's all one law of assumption law of attraction many people speak it into existence affirming throughout their present day and affirming it into their existence which is kind of similar to the law of assumption as well overall ignoring it and just forgetting about it because realizing that it'll come to you once you put less resistance on it acting as if because in originality when you act as if that just automatically becomes your reality because it's what you're being fed to yourself which will ultimately project itself in its reality that's why it's really important and major to watch what you're also saying because i feel like words and i did make a tiktok about this on my tiktok words really have a powerful play when it comes to manifestation and comes to reprogramming your subconscious mind and just getting the whole mixture in there because you have to understand however you truly want to live in the end would you be saying negative things about yourself when you were living in that end for example, if you're manifesting a camera, would you be saying this when you have your camera? Like, I am not going to get this camera. This camera is going to be so hard for me to get. I don't have the right amount of money for it. You wouldn't be saying that if you had your camera. Therefore, you have to literally affirm as if you had your camera. Meaning, I'm so grateful for this camera. This camera is providing so much quality to me. I'm getting so much content with this camera. You guys see what I mean? Like, this is literally embodying your end state and how you would feel and how you want to manifest. The way I feel like many people do not follow this rule and... By all means, it's okay because we all have different preferences. However, it really is up to you and what makes you comfortable. Many people have affirmations which really help them, you know, affirm and get within the state of knowing, which is an amazing thing, you know? However, many other people would have the context of just repeating things in their head, looping things in their head, going about their day and not really having to worry because they know that they can just loop in their head. And that's really a common thing. Me personally, I've commonly done that many times. I did talk about that on my channel many times too, so please go check my videos out. But I do think that's something that's really helpful personally in my journey. Affirming things within every moment of my life, but also having things in my head being looped. Because whatever is within the inner is going to project on the outer. And we see this many times in religion and many cultures. However, it just basically is the meaning of whatever you're feeding yourself is going to be projected. Hence why what you watch on the daily, what you say on the daily, mental dieting is a real thing. And I feel like... If you don't believe that, by all means, it's your opinion, it's your lifestyle, your judgment, but you have to understand that it's a real thing. Just like you are mentally dieting for like physical, you know, watching what you're eating, you know, being healthy, it's just like your mind and your mindset. By all means, that doesn't mean being strict, that doesn't mean being, you know, different with yourself. You have to learn how to take care of yourself and you have to learn how to put your thoughts and everything aside to truly help you grow in originality. Because overall, you're meant to be your highest self and being your highest self obviously means you're learning and you're growing and accepting things as they are but truly knowing that it's all gonna be in your way and it's all gonna get better is ultimately what you should be doing for your mindset and your lifestyle in general you can manifest 
finding what your best manifestation technique is by manifesting things you guys get what i'm trying to say like it's all really simple and it's all made to be simple for you do not make it like a complex idea or thought because then if you make it that then that's just what it'll be you have to understand that you're ultimately the guide for all of this you're the guide that's really allowing yourself to reach to whatever level that you are at in your present life currently so from this point moving on really know that within your life that you're ultimately guiding yourself to where you're gonna be use every present moment when you're becoming aware and use it to affirm to your highest ability i feel like affirmations are something that i will always use in my life and i do use it every point in my life i use it throughout when i'm outside in public when i'm working when i'm doing many things because it can be something that we all take part of we all have our own ways of understanding things to our own extent and our own highest ability that's ultimately what it's meant to be once again guys it's just about understanding and realizing that we are all powerful we are all meant to shine in our highest selves we all have to understand that living in the end is ultimately what we're always doing we are always thinking of the future preparing for the future and then having the future and the future isn't even real because it's the present the present the present the present understand the present is where you're ultimately meant to be your highest self and highest version never limit yourself and never limit your potential of how good you can be when it comes to anything in life understand that you're really the key to really getting to the high self and highest version of yourself allow yourself to flow within one in the universe literally flow meaning affirm allow and don't stress don't worry like understand that it's really simple and it's really just like that it's really simple and it's really just like that I forgot to mention this whole video that I had tea. Um, definitely needed to take a sip of that. But just to sum up what this video was about, the right way to really live in the end is the way that you're most comfortable and most reliable to do. We have to understand that we all create our own resources and tools when it comes to living in the end and feeling that desired feeling of when having your manifestation because you embody your manifestation. Many times we hear this saying that goes around in this community that when you're manifesting, you're not manifesting what you want, but you're manifesting what you're gonna become because you become something and that's when it's manifested. So realize there's many ways like visualization affirmation speaking it verbally into existence ignoring it and allowing it just to come to you realizing that you don't need nothing because everything is yours and bent to your will thank you guys so much for watching this whole entire video i hope this video helped you and you took many things from this video understand that i created this video with the intention to help everyone understand this concept within a better knowing of how to really live in the end on their own really affirm just to have it instantly and effortlessly because you can you're such a master at manifesting because you've always been doing it even up to this very moment like I'm a manifestation of you. So literally, stay dedicated on your journey. Please be sure to like this video and comment. Follow all my social medias in my link tree down below. It's the link like right below in the description. Click that and follow all my social medias. I post similar content like this on all my social media platforms. So it kind of does give you an outreach onto really intaking good information within all your platforms. Because like, why not? And support me. Without further ado, I'm going to see you guys in my next YouTube video. As always, please be sure to stay elevated and stay manifesting like a legend. Bye. Bye. <laughs>